Hi, my name's Nozzy and um, I've been working in the travel industry for about eight to ten years now. I'm a skier. I've been skiing for the last five years. Skied mostly in Japan and Victoria, where I originally grew up from. My favourite ski field in Japan would most likely be Nozawa, um, basically because it offers everything that you need, culturally and apres ski wise. In my opinion, it's the most traditional and the most charming village by far. You know, lots of streets are cobblestone and windy and all the restaurants are close by, the hotel is Ryokan style, so you've got that authentic Japanese experience that you know everyone's looking for. They've also got lots of natural hot springs around, so I think that's probably why I love it so much. We take out the stress out of your holidays, you know, any cancelled flights or anything like that, we take care of you the whole way through, which is why um, we spend so long in Japan. You know, we spend about four to six weeks there, so we're there to make your life easy and enjoyable. The fact that you don't have to wait in lines like every other place that you visit, you know, it caters for everyone as well, both intermediate to beginner level, backcountry, it's all there for you, families especially, they love it here. Always guaranteed snowfall as well. Tons of powder, tons of fluffy powder, um, heaps of restaurants and good bars. There's so many amazing places, especially in Japan, where you can visit. There's Kyoto if you want to do some temple tramping. Um, Nara as well if you want to be a deer whisperer for a day or two. Tokyo is amazing if you want to go out shopping or if you want to do the Mario Karts. I don't know if you've seen that anywhere, but you get to dress up and drive around on the streets in the little Mario Karts, which was amazing. I did that with my best friends uh, about a month or two ago, and that was probably the highlight of our trip. Sashimi, easily. I grew up in the Cooks for about 10 years, so two hours from Tahiti, and I grew up eating fish and seafood pretty much every day, so hands down seafood. 